spotty and happening throughout the day, primarily to the south of I 80 that we could see some of these isolated showers bringing freezing drizzle and maybe even a few flurries, though I'm leaning toward the later half of today. So unfortunately, likely when you are going to be out and about going to your precinct. So we're keeping an eye on things for you. Cloudy skies this morning. Those are going to stick around. We are watching as there is some snow that's lingering farther off to the west, even to the north of us that we are continuing to watch this morning. But those chances for precipitation for today at least seem to be toward areas to the south of I 80. Right now we're continuing to just watch as more as that cloud cover fills in with temperatures just shy of that freezing point, but it is feeling much cooler than that, likely feeling like you're down in the 20s, just given that we've got that cool breeze coming in from the north. Anytime we've got a northerly breeze, it tends to make those temperatures for your wind chill values drop a bit lower. Those wind speeds are going to continue to pick up for today. Some of those high spots that I'm seeing have been down toward Creston, where we're seeing wind speeds upwards of 20 miles per hour. Gusts for all of us expected to rise above 25 miles per hour as we head toward the afternoon hours. So a cooler day plus chances for precipitation that will be continuing to keep an eye on and that type of precipitation is going to depend on the temperature. You see we're expected to rise into the mid 30s. At that point, it likely would just be some spotty rain showers or if there's fog, maybe just a little bit of mist but as those temperatures drop into the evening hour. Some of that might be freezing to your windshield or to the ground below you. So you'll want to take some extra caution. We'll continue to watch as that cloud cover fills in from the south. More of that expected as we head into the evening hours overnight. We could see some light snow showers coming down from the north from that system I was showing you that is going to be passing again. None of this looking to accumulate all too high, but we could see tenths of inches of possible accumulation when it comes to that potential icing for those areas to the south of I 80 primarily. So again, you'll just want to take it nice and slow out there. I don't think this will have a huge impact on you, but I don't want you to be surprised by anything either. So be prepared for some light freezing drizzle, cloudy skies, temperatures in the mid 30s, but feeling much cooler than that for today. Tonight we'll watch those temperatures drop to the low 20s. That freezing drizzle a bit more patchy and possibly some flurries mixed in there as well. As we head into your Tuesday, chances for more of that snow as we look farther to the north of I 80. Things looking pretty dry for Wednesday and Thursday so far. Those temperatures still a bit cooler. As we head into Friday, we'll see another round of moisture come on in. Things looking okay though for Saturday and Sunday. We'll bring those temperatures back up to the mid 30s by the end of the weekend.